Hiya, Ox speaking. This week's topic was supposed to be about begging and to some degree trolling. But as I spent some time scripting and thinking about it, these methods of play don't make sense until you understand the rules and format that MKWE is commonly played in. It's kind of like explaining what a goalie does, but my YouTube channel is about tennis. So instead, today we'll go over the basics of clanning in Mario Kart Wii. Little bit of history. With the rise of Discord and subsequently the push for the Mario Kart Wii community to move to Discord, a new kind of competitive format emerged in the form of Mogi Lounge. I already made a video all about how to get started there, but Mogi Lounge is a very different game from what people grew to expect from Mario Kart Wii. You get paired with random teammates, you can't pick and choose the format. It's a very solo endeavor, I guess would be the best term. For the longest time, Mario Kart Wii was and still is a team game. This concept took place in the form of clans. You join or if you have the time slash expertise, make a clan, get friends to jump in and play against other clans in a 5v5 or below war, with 6v6 being a played but rare exception. There are four major formats used in a 6v6 and 5v5, being Sui, short for suicide bagging, Troll, which is not really short for anything, and then there's no overlap in all run to which 3v3 and 2v2s are played as well. Wait, did I say 4? Mario Kart Wii, despite being a 12-year-old game, still has new formats that are popping up. This week, Valance made a proposal for a new kind of format called Troll No Star, but I'm getting ahead of myself a bit. First, Sui. Suicide bagging consists of one, or sometimes rarely, two players per team to go backward and pull the shock as the shock is such a powerful item in the game that it can allow an entire team to dodge and clean top 4. These players that specialize in going backward are called baggers, not to be confused with trollers. The troll format is similar to suicide bagging, however trollers can also hurt opponents coming around the opposite direction without any penalty. Bumping players off road, stealing boxes, or hitting opponents with items in Sui would penalize the team 20 points in a 5v5, or 24 points in a 6v6, with the exception of trolling the other team's bagger. Then there's the all-run format. The all-run format doesn't allow players to go backward at all, but some players abuse the fact that they could go to the first item set and sit there trying to pull shock, which is where no overlap comes into play. No overlap disables you from using items once you're lapped, resulting in a penalty if you do so. So now that you understand the basics of how wars are played, you may be wondering how to participate in them yourself. Before time, you would go to the boards and look for teams that are recruiting. They then would trial you, and if you're good enough for their standards, you are let in. A side note, each clan's trial method is different. Some people have you play along with them, others have you 1v1 some of their members. For the most part, they're just trying to gauge how good you are, and how well you work with that clan. Anyway, that method still works to this day, but speaking from personal experience, the more common way of joining a clan is through friends, connections, or thanks to Mogi Lounge, being scouted out by a clan. Kind of like how professional esports players are scouted out by teams like Cloud9 or Evil Geniuses. It's a cool feeling. A lot of Mario Kart Wii Discord servers have a separate war channel where they could type the amount of players, and if they have the format, what format they want to play. Other clans then see this and DM the sender to play against each other. The next thing I want to touch up on is incentive. Some players, like myself, enjoy playing with friends and building chemistry together. That's enough for some of us, apparently. But others take their clans and join what we call leagues. These are tournaments, normally in the form of round robins, where clans play against other clans on a fixed schedule. The most popular and well-known league is called Wimfi League, even though there are others, like EL or GL, these leagues have little differences between them. Like, leagues tend to have home and away, and for WL, the home team picks either to be host or pick the format. Compare that to GL, where the home team gets both the host and the format pick. So hopefully, now you should be able to watch people streaming their wars with a rudimentary understanding of how the format works. In the next, Maybe not next next, but soonish video, we'll dive into the idiosyncrasies and meta that this format brought to life. Mic change. 
I just wanted to quickly shout out that I do stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So if you're interested in contacting me for any questions or you just want to hang out, you could go there. If you're interested in learning more about how clans work, be sure to subscribe and like. That tells me that you are interested and you want to see more. Thanks for watching and happy racing.